the Prairie Valley family. It's time for our weekly pastor's note. So that snow was amazing this weekend. Uh, the pictures that I saw were just incredible. I don't think I've ever seen those kind of uh, snowfalls in around Cape Town in all the time that I've lived here. Of course, the poorest of the poor, I don't think, enjoyed the cold weather. It made it pretty miserable for them. And, and I must admit, I walked around with a blanket over, over the weekend. It's pretty chilly. Uh, but we all know that really cold weather leads to really good fruit uh, in, in the summer. Fruit trees just love the cold weather. And so this is preparation for good fruitfulness uh, in this next in this next season, the summer season. Kind of feels like that's a parable for where we find ourselves at the moment. We we maybe haven't really enjoyed uh, this last four or five months. It's posed a number of challenges to us. Uh, we, we've walked around grumpy, angry, frustrated, afraid at times. But I can't help but go- think that God is birthing something unbelievably good and unbelievably fruitful in this time. I think we've all had opportunity to reflect on the last five months and learned some good things. Um, hopefully that have been changing for you and me. I think we've realized that we love community. We miss people, even the introverts amongst us. We enjoy Sundays. Uh, we've probably realized that we need to save a little bit more uh, for, for those drought seasons in our lives. I think we've realized that we can't just insulate and isolate when things get tough, but that we are part of a village that we need to reach out uh, to the people around us. Those are some of the lessons probably that we've learned but I think more than anything, we've realized that we really do need God. Um, this tiny little virus has made us aware how vulnerable we are. Uh, many people have lost loved ones um, in the season through COVID. Uh, and it's reminded us that, that life doesn't carry on forever, that we are in fact fragile. But of course, that's not only a truth that we're becoming aware of. There are many people outside of the faith that are also becoming aware of how vulnerable they are and are beginning to search. They're beginning to ask questions about life, meaning purpose and eternity and so that's what i believe is the greatest opportunity uh, of this generation and that is uh, for the for for people to find jesus to discover that he is the way the truth and the life that he is an anchor uh, for our souls i believe that this is a season that we're going to see revival taking place in many nations uh, across the world and we get to be part of that and alpha is the tool that we want to put in your hands to be part of this revival. We all know neighbors, we all know family members, people we run with, friends, people we work with uh, that are outside of faith, that are asking questions about life, meaning, and purpose. And we have the opportunity to point them to Jesus. Uh, we, can, we can do that in three ways. Number one is to pray for them. I love the story I heard this morning about this missionary that went to a, a unreached people group. And he settled down there for a while and he realized just across the way was another community they would never be able to reach that also didn't know Jesus. And so he committed to spending half of his time reaching out to the local community and half of his time praying for this other community. He left to go home, came back some years later, and was amazed to find out that the community he prayed for had greater fruitfulness of the gospel than the community that he had lived in. The power of praise is transformative. And so I would ask you to be praying for people that you know that are outside of faith. The second thing you can do uh, is to invite them to join you on this next Alpha. Of course, it's online, so it won't be in person, but say, come, let's do this Alpha course together. You may even learn something yourself. Uh, it'll be good for you too. So that's the second thing. The third thing is to send out invitations to everyone and anyone that you can think of who might even be vaguely interested uh, in doing Alpha and trusting the Spirit to do the rest of the work. Link to this pastor's note is an image that you can use. You can put it on Facebook. uh, You can put it on Instagram. uh, You can WhatsApp it to as many people as you can think of. You may even want to use it as your WhatsApp profile picture for the next couple of weeks. We know that that people join Alpha through personal invitation. And so we would be asking you to send out those invitations en masse in the next couple of days. And together with your prayers... We believe that this can be one of the most significant uh, periods in our church's history as we trust in God for loads and loads of people uh, to sign up for this online Alpha course. I'd love to have the problem of not having enough leaders uh, to lead and going out there and and having to lastminute.com just find new leaders to run many groups uh, online. Premiers on the 15th of September. Uh, The link that we've sent you today uh, points to that. Uh, invite people to at least join us for that 30 minutes on Tuesday night, the 15th of September at 7 o'clock. Ask them just for that commitment, 30 minutes. It's all you're asking for of their time. 
And then, of course, at the end of that 30 minutes, we will then invite them to join us for the rest of the 10 weeks of the Alpha course. So excited to see what God's going to do uh, through, through Alpha Online. And then talking about prayer and the power of prayer, please be praying for the elders, leaders and staff as they meet on Sunday. They will spend the day together just worshipping, praying and seeking God for, for next year. Uh, we, we believe we can really only plan for the first six months. That's realistic. The, the, the landscape is just shifting so much that we, we can't really plan for longer than that. We want to hear from God. We don't want to use our own wisdom and our own insights. I really believe that God is a big plan and it's a beautiful plan and an amazing plan uh, next year. Uh, and we want to be part of whatever it is that he's got lined up and whatever he's doing. So we want to, we want to hear from Jesus. And so would you be praying for us as we spend time just listening uh, and planning. I'm going to close out just with a very short alpha clip. Uh, please don't switch off. Actually listen to it. Uh, and, and, and then use that just perhaps to motivate you again to, to invite people. Uh, to, to Alpha. Bless you, church. Uh, be, please be assured of our prayers. Uh, please be assured that Brent and myself are available to you. Please pick up the phone, drop us a WhatsApp, send us an email. We'd love to start connecting with more of you. We can do that. We can meet in coffee shops. We can meet at the church. We can even come and pop in at your home. And, and so do reach out to, to Brent and myself in, in this next season. We'd love to connect with you. Bless you, church. Every day we are inundated with so much information, yet so many questions remain. How can I find my purpose? Why am I here? What should I believe? How can I find peace? Why is life so unfair? How can I thrive in challenging times? How can I make the most of my life? These are life's big questions, but there's rarely enough time to think them through properly. If you live to be 70, you're probably going to spend 20 years and 3 months asleep, 10 years and 5 months watching TV, 5 years and 9 months in some form of transportation, 7 years and 6 months eating and drinking. Why not spend less than 24 of them asking life's biggest questions and try Alpha? <laughs>